What's good with the YouTube? Make sure y'all smack that like button. Smack that subscribe button. We finna get on these Colorado buffs. I'm hyped for next season. I'm ready to see these guys get back out there. Y'all know I'm a low-key. Always get on their ass, though. Because I feel like they finna come out here with the same results next season. And 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 and, and to another subject, I had to go back and listen to uh, Jason Whitlock and Charleston White. I ain't, I ain't never really listened to Jason Whitlock talk about him, but he, yeah, I, I do say, I do say some of the same stuff he talking about. They, 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 uh, Coach Primer setting his team up for Shadur. He all about Shadur, Shadur again. All about Shadur. Charleston White too. He right. He all about Shadur. The whole country can see that Coach Prime is setting this whole thing up for Shadur. But don't nobody, like the fans, the ones that's riding his nuts and shit, they just don't see no wrong in Coach Prime. They don't see him doing nothing wrong, nothing. We got, I, I hear fans talking about Shadur going to get Heisman next year. Uh, Coach Prime just all in the, the well-off video, just praising the lineman and praising and praising and praising the lineman. Oh, I got this 6'4", 6'5", 6'6". Now, let's, let's, get, let's get one thing straight. Size was not the problem at Colorado. Size was not the problem at all. Let's get this straight. Just because y'all see this offensive lineman, um, Jordan Seaton, then committed. Yeah, he's five star. He's good. He's he's better athletically than a lot of those linemen that Colorado had. Definitely, he's definitely a good pickup. But this is not going to change the whole dynamic of Colorado football overnight. I'm sorry. Now they need to get way more linebackers, way more defensive linemen. You need you need some tall receivers. He ain't got no receivers that's 6'4", 6'3", 6'5". You need some big guys on that other side at safety. I mean, it's a lot of pieces you need. But at the same time, these guys have to be seasoned in your program to understand your playbook. To understand that's why I think that transfer portal gonna fuck up a lot. It's gonna it's, it's gonna fuck with a lot of that, a lot of development within the program of the team. See now. College football with this transfer portal, it's just like the NFL now. You just gotta go, just just play with play with play. I mean, it's a player player sport now. It's just playing. We just out here playing now. Whatever happens, happens. But this is why I wanted y'all y'all understand that size was not the problem at Colorado. Look at Colorado's line from this past season: 6'10", 3'15", 6'5", 6'5", 6'5", 280. 6'6", 300, 6'6", 2'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 6'6", 
If it was something so great going on in Colorado that was just so good and great, why so many people leave? Why so many coaches leave? And I bet a lot of those coaches got a breath of fresh air now that they not around Colorado under them cameras and with, with Bucky all in their face and all that all that all that hype weighing up weighing on them. I bet they I bet they finally feel free and comfortable enough that the the, the, the cameras are off. They can get behind their desk and work on their work, work on their craft, work on what they're trying to really get done during the football season. I bet they couldn't work on that all all day. They're sitting there up in there with Colorado and Coach Prime and Shadur and Bucky. It probably was just too much going on for people. Everybody different. Some people ain't gonna like all that. But when you all about Shadur, when you got Coach Prime coming in, he's all about Shadur. That's all he's setting this up for. He's build. He's rebuilding his team again to fit Shadur. Y'all think he didn't handpick them last linemen that I just showed? A lot of them he went and got, or some of them assistant coaches went and got out the transfer portal. Six 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 eight six 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 all that. Like I said, it ain't the size. Colorado's problem has always been the fact that Colorado played favoritism on the past. If he would balance that offense out, they would be a lot better because they do recruit good players. Now ain't no way you're gonna have this top line Jordan Seaton come in here and you ain't gonna run the ball. You a goddamn lie. Y'all not finna sit up here and pass the ball 80, 80% of the time. And if y'all do, best believe Colorado gonna have the same record again. Same record. Now, it's crazy. A lot of people think that Shadur is gonna be at the top of the Heisman list. Yeah, he might be at the top of it at the beginning of the season, just like he was last season. But as that season go on and all this past heavy shit going on, he's gonna drop down. Because a lot of people think that they're going to go into this Big 12 and they're going to have it easy. But let, look here. They start the season off with North Dakota State. North Dakota State is not no easy team. I don't care who or what. A lot of Coach Prime Dick Riders and uh, Shadur uh, Bunny Hoppers is going to be like, man, you crazy. They're going to blow North Dakota State out. Look here. They better go in there and play North Dakota, North Dakota State. Because North Dakota State will come in their house and beat them. They will beat Colorado. I got them taking an L against North Dakota State. I got them beating Nebraska, beating Colorado State again, beating Arizona. I think they I think they're gonna have enough to get them at Arizona. And they're gonna take an L to Utah. But I feel like they will beat Baylor. Baylor ain't been good for the past few years. I feel like they can get there. I feel like they're gonna start the season off next year at four and two. A nice little run. Could be five and one if they could get North Dakota State, but I'm I'm telling y'all, I feel like that North Dakota State game is going to shock everybody. And that's that's what's going to let everybody know that this is not going to be the season that y'all think is going to be, that North Dakota State game. That's going to be a shocker. And they're going to go on. They're going to go win three in a row, you know. Colorado State might be shaky because Colorado State, Jay Norville, and them might get some recruits in there. But we're going to see. But at the same time, I feel like they're going to start the season off strong at 4-2 and two, or 5-1. and one. And they're going to be on a little roll. But at the same time, once that pass heavy shit weigh on them, tell you, especially North Dakota State, uh, that, that first game, if they try to pass heavy on them, they're going to beat them. Because North Dakota State going to control the game with the run. And then they're going to go into the back end of the season against Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Cincinnati, Kansas, Texas Tech, UCF. I mean, people act like this is a cakewalk for some reason. I, I really I really I really think a lot of these teams don't get respect because of popularity. You don't really hear about a lot of these teams. But Oklahoma State is good. Kansas State is good. Cincinnati, ah, right, we they gonna beat Cincinnati. Kansas is a good team. Texas Tech is a good team. UCF is a good team. That's why I got Colorado losing all those games except Cincinnati. So Colorado, in my book, is gonna end the season at five and seven which would be one game improvement from this season. And they're going to miss a bowl game again. This this record I got is based off the fact that I feel like Coach Prime again is setting this team up just for Shadur. He's not thinking about the other team. How do y'all think these running backs and shit? Why y'all think it ain't been no big-time running backs hurry up and commit? How do y'all think they feel? Why you think ain't no big-time receivers that hurry up and commit it? 
when I, I heard, I heard one, uh, they talking about Marvin Harrison, Mike, Marvin Harrison Jr. might Jr. might go over there. Uh, you, you think he gonna go over there if he gonna get uh, four touchdowns or five touchdowns on the season? Mm-mm. Cause Shadur gonna spread that ball around to make it make them his touchdowns and his completion. It ain't gonna be just one dynamic receiver that can take over unless unless something gonna change this season. I really would like to see Colorado make a star player out of other players except Shadur. Cause Shadur is just it, it, it's all about him up there, and I think that's crippling them. You can't win no game. You can't even even uh when I was watching the Jason Whitlock thing, he talked about he showed a clip where uh Coach Prime was talking about the transfer portal. He said in the transfer portal they, they doing good to protect Shadur. He clearly let the whole world know that I'm in this transfer portal specifically looking for guys to protect my son. So to all the Colorado commits and recruits out there. I hope y'all are ready to protect Shadur, because that's what you up there for. And a lot of other players probably ain't realized it yet until they get up there. And when they get up there and all that turmoil going on, like this, if the same little shit going on just like this past season, mark my words, they're gonna be five and seven, or four and eight, or six and six. It's gonna be something crazy. And Shadur will not get your husband. He probably gonna end up being being banged and beat up again because Coach Prime overpassing. Cause I, I I guarantee y'all a lot of them coaches left because they 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 didn't agree with that play that playing scheme that play calling scheme and Coach Prime laid that out as soon as he got there he head coach head coach is the guy over all that he didn't want to lay out what's what the, what he want to see done with the football team and once he laid it out to him I bet a lot of them coaches didn't didn't like it and that's why as soon as the season as soon as the season was over everybody I mean man it was an exodus. Let my people go. And I bet them coaches got a breath of fresh air now that they not all under them lights and cameras and all that shit, all that bullshit, all that hype and phony shit going on. So if Colorado come out here and do the same shit again, I expect the same results. And it's sad because this going to be the last year for Coach Prime and Shadur. Because Shadur going to the league. And once he go to the league, it's over with. It's over with. Coach Prime gone. I I don't see Coach Prime coaching after Shadur is gone or Shallow's gone. So if he do, I be I'm wrong. But at the same time, I feel like Coach Prime is finna hype this team up again just to have the same results, man. PSA, man. Let's see what Colorado gonna do next season.